to Feed Dump. This week we're taking a rare brush next to political news because we're all inappropriate videos that Ted Cruz has liked on Twitter. I'm too squids touching. It's not like actually inappropriate in any way, but it, it's just the way they slide past each other. It makes you think. Joining me this week is a video of a man looking for a little man in a boat. Okay, full disclosure, I made that up. We all know there's no way Ted Cruz is interested in looking for the clitoris. And a video of a train going in and out of a tunnel. <laughs> Enjoying that hot weather? Well, good news. Passy Pete, the Maine Lobster, has predicted six more weeks of summer. Oh, the Maine Lobster. I'm glad. We're not getting stuck with the shitty understudy lobster. So what's the folk wisdom process here? Passy Pete scuttles out from underneath a starfish or whatever, and there's six more weeks of summer because he doesn't get eaten? Yeah, and I've never really understood the whole process of animals foreseeing the future, or how they even choose these animals to prophesize anything. Do I just go find the next badger I run into and ask it for the next goddamn lottery numbers? Well, ben, don't count out our uh, more perceptive members of the animal kingdom. I met a Thompson's gazelle that gave me very good advice to not eat at Pizza Hut. You don't need an animal to tell you to not eat at Pizza Hut. Most people who eat at Pizza Hut are goddamn animals to begin with. Oh! No, sick burn, bro! Sick burn! Agreed. I think our more civilized viewers would prefer to eat at a place like Domino's or perhaps even Papa John's for that more above-the-board experience. Did you know that four out of five orangutans that I've personally asked recommend Papa John's pizza? I mean, it's not like orangutans are known for their amazing taste in Italian food, so I don't know how seriously I should take their review, but they seem to be having a good time. And speaking of great taste, you know what would taste great in a pizza? Beej's mom's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of great taste, you know what would taste great in a pizza? Lobster. Nailed it. Six more weeks of summer! West Yorkshire police arrested a man after he showed up at a petrol station, or gas station for us non-British people, stripped naked, set his pants on fire, and then did a chicken dance. He was later released without charge, so I guess he learned his lesson. It doesn't matter if he got scot-free or if there was any sort of legal repercussion to what was going on. The man lit a fire at the gas station. Fire at the gas station! Fire at the Taco Bell! No, fire in the gas station. Fire in the gates of hell! I just want to know why they keep starting fires. It's their desire! It's their desire? It's their desire! Danger, danger! High voltage! Nailed it! A man from Pittsburgh who'd robbed a bank thought he had the perfect getaway scheme, but it turns out after he hired a jitney, which Beige has looked up and tells me is like a, a person powered like pedicab kind of thing, along the tuk-tuk spectrum of vehicles, uh, was uh, apprehended by police because it turns out they don't go as fast as police cars. Oh geez, I'm sorry Kathleen, I screwed that up. You said jitney, but I thought you meant jeepney. Um, and that's less of a rickshaw, and it's more down the scale towards the tuk-tuk. Alright, wait, time out. Before we put anything on any sort of spectrum, can we at least define what the fuck-fuck a tuk-tuk is? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Before we get into tuk-tuks, I'm on the Wikipedia disambiguation page for Jitney, and it is either an archaic name for a nickel, share taxis that competed with streetcars, a dollar van, or a small wheeled cart or platform dolly are not mentioned anywhere! Yeah, but if it's a share cab, that means it could still be a bajaji, or a remork, or maybe even a tuxi. A actually, wait, hold on, Bij. Um, I actually missed a couple of definitions on that disambiguation page because it's surprisingly long. Uh, a jitney is either means Hampton Jitney, which is a for-profit bus company from Southampton, New York, or an illegal taxi cab operation or a casual darts event with partners drawn at random and no stats recorded for future events. I don't think it's the last one, but if it is, that might explain why he got caught by the police so easily. Wait, arrested? Wait, what's going on? Oh, um, I don't really, I turned out of this conversation a while ago. I'm on Tinder. Well, seeing how we basically managed to avoid talking about every single story this week, I think it's time to call this episode of Feed Dump to a close. Nailed it! But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to my co-hosts, Ben and Beige, because not all sources of news would have them, and why would they? Because they are completely distracted. But also, I want to say two birthday shout outs that I forgot about because we were moving. 
So I truly have nailed this one. The first one is to Jonathan Kennedy. Jonathan Kennedy from Vivian, who is your girlfriend, and she is delighted to wish you a happy birthday. And one for Seth, who asked me himself, and then I didn't do it. So thanks, guys. And remember, there may be better sources of news, but they won't remember to give you birthday shoutouts a couple weeks later. And they won't have this hat, which is says, we kept, we kept forgetting to mail this hat, and it's been bugging us, from longtime fans Nick and Lorelei. It's a fly hat. A motherfucking Beelzebub, Lord of Lies. I don't even know what that means. Is it cold? Is it hot? Is it just that you have to spend like another six weeks at Kennebunkport with people who are tangentially related to the Kennedys? Lobster. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs>